Hi, I'm Nagil from Goddess Cafe. So in this video, we're going to build a smart mirror. Smart mirror is a two-way mirror that allows you to see not yourself but whatever happens on the screen behind the mirror. So they're really cool. Apart from the existing smart mirror that was made, it has a super cool feature, the swipeable pages. So let's get into the building process. For the rigid construction of the mirror frame, we are using an 18mm MDF board. Otherwise, it cannot hold such a large monitor and there is a chance of collapse. We can cut the wood to the required length by taking proper measurements. Here we use the jigsaw for cutting the wood. It is the only power tool with me. You can also use the table saw or circular saw instead. For long straight cuts with the jigsaw, use straight edge or guides. To get a smoother finish on cutting, use a blade that is designed to cut metal. For the front frame, we are going for miter cuts, so we can roughly mark the positions and cut down the wood. Miter joints can give a nice and clean appearance to the frame. We assemble the frame by adding some synthetic resin adhesives which will take a long time to cure. For creating more inward pressure, we have used right angle clamps and left it over tonight. Don't give excess clamp pressure which may lead to poor binding. Here is what it looks like. So we can add the wooden pieces which are left over earlier to the front frame using instant glues. You should be careful while using these types of glue. They will cure at lightning speed but the final strength is only reached after about 24 hours. To give extra rigidity to the frame, we added some screws to the front frame after pre-drilling pilot holes. Screws are lubricated with the bar saw for making the process easier. We also tighten the back frame using the same screws. After sanding and priming, we stain the frame with a dark brown color which can give much more contrast to the wall. So we have our two-way glass right here from the local store. We have bought it for around $2 and it's very cheap. This is a sample piece of a two-way mirror. It works on the principle of light intensity. As you can see, if the light intensity is same on the both sides of the glass, the mirror will act like a normal piece of glass. You can see my hands moving. When we place the mirror on this black sheet, the light is bright on one side and much darker on the other. Then the glass will look like a mirror to the people on the brightest side. I am on the brighter side, you can see the reflection. Now we can put the mirror in. There exists some tiny space between the mirror and the frame. We covered it with hot glue. Before proceeding into further steps, we clean the back side and front side of the mirror with glass cleaners. Oh, we forgot to drill a notch for the camera module which is a key component in gusset detection. Then we restain the frame. For putting the monitor behind the mirror, we need to remove the stand of the monitor. Then we carefully inserted the monitor. Using a Raspberry Pi is an easy way to make a smart mirror as they are open source and very versatile. We have already configured our Raspberry Pi 4. Here, the monitor only supports VGA cable. Already, we have a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. So, we arrange it in HDMI to VGA converter. Now, we can display our Raspberry Pi with the monitor. So, we secured the Raspberry Pi on the monitor with the double-sided tapes and connected all the cables. We also attached the camera module and wired it to the Raspberry Pi. There will be two power cables coming out from the mirror. One is for the monitor and another is for Raspberry Pi. To secure the monitor in position, we added a wooden blocks to the back of the frame. Then we booted up the Raspberry Pi. We're gonna use an open source app called Magic Mirror, which is a program that is specifically designed for this purpose. Apart from the basic widgets, carousel, key bindings, and COVID-19 are the third-party modules used in this project. Hand tracking AI based on media pipe is used for swiping between the pages. Install media pipe and its dependencies and use a python code to make sure it's working flawlessly. Now let us see the smart mirror in action.
if you are really interested in replicating this project don't forget to check out the project link which is given in the description you can also grab the code from there so see you in the next video till then stay tuned